Hey guys, it's Nita Ann here. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Nita. Today, we're gonna talk about the big Miss America win. I'm so excited because Miss Colorado won Miss America and I can't wait to share you some of the things I love about Madison Marsh. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat and I'll be right back. Hey guys, Nita Ann. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Nita. And today I'm talking about why I love the latest Miss America, Madison Marsh. So there's so many reasons why I love her, but I'm just going to start with my top five reasons. Um, you can say hi to Barbie girl in the background. Her and her boyfriend Chance are uh, traveling with me today as we're out running errands. Um, so. If you're following me on my other platforms, you probably know that I have an animal sanctuary, so make sure to check us up, check us out at Dog Heaven LLC. We also have our own YouTube, getting started to help support all of the animals up there at Dog Heaven. But going back to Madison Marsh. So I like her for so many reasons, but these are my top five reasons. The first reason is she's from Colorado. Woohoo! Miss Colorado. So of course I'm a Colorado native and there's something special to me when someone from Miss Colorado someone from Colorado wins because of course I love Colorado. I've always been a Colorado girl and it just feels great to have someone from Colorado win the Miss America pageant. So that's my number one reason. It's a pretty shallow reason, but it is kind of important because Colorado rocks, right? Especially when it's such a beautiful day in January. We just had that huge cold spell and now it's like almost 50 degrees, sunny. I have my window down, beautiful day. So another reason to love Colorado. Okay, so number two reason I love Madison Marsh is she is the only person who's ever won Miss America who's been active duty military. I love this so much because a lot of times when women are in the military, they are really forced to be more masculine. With a lot of military jobs, you do sometimes need to be a little bit more masculine. But what I love about the fact that she chose to run for Miss Colorado and then Miss America is that she chose to also live in her feminine. That she didn't have to just be masculine to be successful. She chose to also show off her beauty, her feminine grace, which of course she is absolutely gorgeous, but she knows how to work her masculine uh, when she needs to in the military. And to have the military discipline is pretty amazing. The military physique is pretty amazing. And then of course, in the Air Force itself, to go to the Air Force Academy, you have to be pretty dang smart. So this girl is beauty and brains. Um, which is actually my third thing. So my second thing is that she's active duty military. I mean, who doesn't love that? But the third thing is that she is beauty and brains. Beauty and brains. And I think this is such a good example for young women, young girls to look up to, um, that you can be beautiful and you can be smart. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I think sometimes in today's world, women have shied away from really standing out and um, shining their beauty and for fear of being sexualized or fear of not being respected. And so they've tried to be overly masculine. But what I love about Madison is she shines with her beauty and she's also smart. So of course she's also going to the Harvard Kennedy School to get her master's degree. Um, and she's obviously very intelligent, and so she's got beauty and brains. So that is my third thing I love about her. Don't you love that about her Barbie girl? I think she likes that too. Number four reason why I love Madison Marsh, according to me and Barbie girl, when you agree Barbie girl, she has her own opinions about this, is the reason I love Madison number four is because she is a pilot. I mean, who doesn't love a sexy pilot? Especially Miss America, who's flying around in a jet somewhere. We need to do our own top conversion with Madison Marsh, 
there flying around above us. I mean, we need a Top Gun version for women, right? Because she just totally breaks the stereotype that it has to be men to be a pilot. Like, it's really hard to be a pilot. It takes a lot of work. Madison, you did it. Okay, so the last reason I love Madison Marsh and Barbie Girl's already taken a nap, so she's done with the conversation. She's like, I'm done talking about Madison Marsh. I'm taking a nap. So I'll just finish it up by myself. So the last reason I love Madison Marsh is because she's not afraid to do stuff. Sometimes as a woman who's beautiful, they may just fall into the trap of, you know, getting married, being kind of, a, what do they call it? A trophy wife. <laughs> um, you know, just kind of using their looks to achieve everything. And what I love about her is she's choosing not to do that and she's choosing to really make a difference. And so this is going to be the kind of person that I think could possibly even run for president 20, 30, 40 years from now um, because she's obviously got a good head on her shoulders um, and I would love to see a woman who is able to stay in her feminine while still doing all of those things that we need to do um, in our masculine. And I would love to see a leader like that in America. So we'll see if she's around 30 years from now. I'd vote for her. Madison Marsh for president. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And I will talk to you soon.